<laughs> Good morning and welcome. We have, we don't need to introduce him any further because you already saw the video and the video has told you a lot of things you need to know about him. And I remember earlier saying that all the single ladies should stay tuned to find out if they stand a chance with Emmanuel Ikubese. <laughs> Hi, Emmanuel. Mr. Hi, Nigeria. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome Hi you. to the show. I'm good. I'm feeling very blessed this morning. So blessed are thou amongst women. Very beautiful woman, woman oh. this morning. Not any type of woman. No, very beautiful woman. This type woman. of woman. Oh, yes. gracias, gracias. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. OK, so um, Emmanuel, we know that we've known a lot from you about you from that video we just watched. Yes. So I just want to ask you, was uh, modeling always part of the plan? Uh, modeling, modeling. OK, I stumbled into modeling when I went to school in Kenya. And um, I just wanted to do something apart from just being a normal student in school. I actually started up DJing. And, I contested for my school's Mr. USIU. It's an American university, and I didn't win, though. Um, I, I think the highest I went was top five. You know, but it gave me a platform, and I started modeling, and I did a lot of catwalk modeling. I did a lot of fashion shows. Then I started doing commercials. That's when a bit of acting started coming in. And um, yeah, I got a role in Sugar. That was my first ever acting, professional acting. Um, so sure. sugar came, like the acting came before the modeling or the modeling? No, the modeling came before acting. I started, I did modeling for a very long time, for about two, three years in school before I got sugar. What did you study in university? International relations. Wow, oh, nice. I bet when yeah. you chose that, you probably imagined yourself uh, as a world what? leader. You know, I diplomat. just always thought I was going to come back home and start looking for a job at the poor, the Nigerian foreign. No, you, you don't have to. No, I don't have to. <laughs> you know, now I'm an ambassador for Nigeria. Oh, you nice. Know, okay. this, this feels good. OK, so we saw that video. <laughs> we saw when um, Denmark was crowned Mr. Nigeria. What was going on in your mind at that point? Mr. Uh, World, Mr. World, rather. Mr. World was. I went into Mr. Nigeria basically because I wanted to win the Mr. World title. I, I, it was a big challenge for me, and um, my mindset was Mr. World. And I went to London where we had the Mr. World, and um, all I was thinking about was Mr. World. So getting to that stage, getting to that final stage where it was just um, up to me in Denmark, you know, to be crowned the Mr. World, I, I was so sure I was going to get it. I was Aww. definitely so sure. And when you didn't get it, what uh, was you could mind? see the, you you could see the expression. Sad. I was so sad. Did I felt you, did like you feel something. Cheated? I wouldn't say I felt cheated. He was a good competitor, but I actually felt you deserved. I deserved the What Mr. did you World do? Title. What do you think made you stand out more than if, him? If 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 you asked any of the contestants at the Mr. World, who was their favorite? They would basically say Nigeria. There's no one who won't, who I didn't rub off on. You understand? Mm. Nigeria. Everyone kept Nigeria, and then. It was the Chinese, it was the Japanese guy, it was the English guy, it was just everybody. And um, I, I, I have this kind of friendly spirit, and it rubbed on, on everyone, and people loved me, you know. So, in fact, I don't want to say this, but while after the show, everyone was like, Mr. Nigeria, you are Nigeria. They called me Nigeria, because that's what they yeah, call everyone, I, because of the, we had this tag. You know, like, Nigeria, Nigeria, you are Mr. World, you are oh, Mr. World, you are Mr. World, so you know. Since, since winning, and that was good enough. Since winning Mr. Nigeria and... I mean, are you, do you have the title Mr. World Nigeria, or is no, that a... Mr. World Nigeria is the title I go with to, to London, the to, to London. the competition. Okay. Because every other person, Mr. World Denmark came as Mr. World Denmark. Okay. You know, then now winning, um, being the first runner of now makes me Mr. World, first Ni runner of Mr. Nigeria. World Africa. Africa, okay. Yeah. So being Mr. Nigeria, yeah. um, what, what, did, what did you hope? Because you said you, you went into that competition because you wanted to be Mr. World. Yeah. Now, what, do you, what did you hope to accomplish with that title? Um... I just always wanted to do something that was um, that was going to stand out, that was going to mm. make people act, believe that. Because I'm a person that believes you can achieve anything you put your mind to. And um, this is the, what I live for. You know, I, I set high standards for myself, not because I, 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 I don't think I can achieve them. It's because I just want to believe that I can achieve anything. And I want people who f watch or who follow that I can go out there and just speak and let people know that you can achieve whatever you put your mind mm. to achieve. From the, you okay. understand? From the female pageants angle, like a lot of the female pageants, we hear yeah. them saying they want to do charity, they want to have an NGO. Did you have same Definitely, dreams? definitely. Um, uh, before, before I went for Miss Nigeria, I've always had this um, thing. I've always been talking to people a lot about domestic. I've always had arguments with my friends, like um, educative arguments about this domestic violence and how I felt it's actually men who should really be the, in the forefront of you know, standing up against or advocating against domestic violence um, against women. You know, and then being Mr. Nigeria, I just saw that as a platform, you know, to really set up that thing that I had a little passion for at that time. You know, of course, um, I was part of Sugar, which is an HIV awareness show. Um, I'm a person that loves to give back, and I've done a couple of um, 
um, orphanage trips and just giving back. But it's not just about doing orphanage. It's not about just go giving out, giving books. It's about doing something that people would know that you actually impacted in the lives of people. And that's why I started off the project Raw. Okay. You know, the so Raw tell is, us how it's, it it's an Emmanuel Kubis initiative. It's a domestic violence awareness campaign. And um, I just wanted something that would stand out. And I just thought about it, and Raw just came to me. And Raw stands for respect to women. Okay, and I wow. feel um, as, 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 as men, I think it's high time we begin to stand up or we come to the forefront of this battle against domestic violence against women. Because we men just sometimes they think it's a cool thing. You know, it's not that bad. I'm married to her. Oh, she's True. my girlfriend. I could just, you know, hit her once in a while. And from hitting her once in a while, it becomes an habit. You understand? So I feel if men, it's a pledge thing that I decided that men should make a pledge to begin to respect women. I don't think it's right, it's right for any man to hit a woman. You okay. know, so and then I decided, let it, I don't want it to just be about just the men alone. So I came up with the concept of raw too for the women, which is if he hits you, run away. You know, oh, which is also right. raw. Nice. You understand? So, um, so it's something that I'm doing. I'm sure you saw the pictures that yeah. trended a lot for about two weeks on social media. You had several actors. Yes, I thanks with to all makeup, the yeah, all the all all actors up. and um, uh, artists that came out to support me. The Maven guys, the Corey De Bello, um, DJ, and every other person um, that came out to support the project and. It was, it was great. It was amazing. I actually didn't think it was going to blow up like that. And it did. I got a lot of emails, people telling me, oh, wow, this project is so good. Okay, Thanks now this sounds like, like a lot of victory stories. Did you actually have any challenges while executing this? Yes, I did. Um, trying to gather people around, it's not an easy thing. Because, you know, for you to do something that people would notice, you need to basically use people that people follow a lot, you know. And then I, I'm glad they came through and came to support me. And... I intend to do a lot more. You know, the pictures was just just a way of launching the project raw. Um, I intend to do a short film. I intend to do a nationwide tour. I intend to go out to universities and um, high secondary, like senior secondary schools, because I believe it's time we start from the early, um, like. Since the young people, better. yeah, you know, let them begin to understand the dangers of being in a violent relationship so that when they see those early signs in their very young relationships, they begin to realize, nope, this is not good for me. You know, so these are the little things that I intend to do while being Mr. Nigeria. I tend to go back to my own school, my secondary school, and just have a talk. Where is but your secondary school? It's King's High School in Satellite Town. Mm. Yeah, Like I those, to those guys really have a lot of... <laughs> oh, King's High School, we produce a lot of celebrities. I've heard a lot of oh, them say that. How we do this. No, with... that's KC. Okay, oh, King's, King's College. College. Yeah, mine is King's oh. High School. Mine is one local school somewhere. Oliver's already Very beautiful hinting school. On, on your I know. secondary school now. I know. I might have gone to KC now. They'll be like, oh, yeah. Mr. This Nigeria, KC, you're, you know, it's commendable. You're a champion for the women. Is there a Mrs. Nigeria? He could feel this question coming up, the blush oh, line coming. Oh my gosh. Is there a Mrs. Nigeria somewhere? Well, there isn't a Mrs. Nigeria at the moment. Oh, <laughs> oh there is. Oh. There isn't. Oh, oh goodness, there ladies. Isn't. I told uh, you. Did you say there is or there? No, I'm, there I'm not hearing isn't. properly. There, there is isn't. no yes. okay. Mrs. Nigeria. Yeah. So ladies. Who's, your, who's your ideal Mrs. Nigeria? Who's my ideal woman? What, what do people have to do? Because your listeners are they're watching you. So what do they have to be or do to be, you know, the right woman for Mr. Nigeria? Okay, who's the right woman for me? Basically, just the woman who is very uh, cool-headed. Um, I love a hard-working woman, definitely. Oh, who doesn't? Uh, I just love a woman who just knows how to get on her grind. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, get, I mean, work. Quick one, would you like to marry a woman in the entertainment industry like you? I don't know why people always ask that question. I don't think um, I, I, I intend to decide whether she's in, wherever she is. Oh, whether in, let me say she's in the banking sector, whether well, she... she has to be cool-headed, so no crazy just, ladies. Mm, I love crazy sometimes. No crazy sometimes. ladies burning bags and... Crazy on sometimes is not bad. A little bit of crazy <laughs> is not bad. You know, but I love a god fearing, cool, hardworking, um, intelligent woman. I love someone I can talk to. What's your standing there. on xenophobia? I think it's crazy. Sorry to use that word, but I think it's wrong. I think... I think it's just um, hypocritical of oh, we Africans, you know, because we watch a lot of, um, uh, especially the, this U.S. thing where the, the blacks mm -hmm. are saying the white cops are killing blacks, and then we turn around and we do the same thing to, to our own fellow black people. I Let's think not take it that far. <laughs> yeah, In South really Africa, far. they are suffering, you know, from, yeah. from imperialist um, I, regimes. I, I think... I'm sorry to, to, I'm just disappointed in South Africa. I used to love South Africa a lot, you know, and, and I'm totally, totally disappointed to see. I've seen a lot of videos, and I'm like, wow. And you're going to see one video shortly. Oh On that God. note, thank you very much for joining yeah. us. Thank you. We stand, we all jointly say no to xenophobia. And right now, we're going to be playing a video against xenophobia, Ebola, and every wrong thing going on in Africa. Stay tuned.
lots more to come.